Hello folks and welcome back to another one. Um, glorious day today again, uh, thank God. Uh, we seem to start off every video with, with what, what the weather's doing. Um, just here going to get the topper greased up and ready to go. Uh, as I said in the last video, just gonna top that field there where that I took the sheep off and get ready for putting slurry on it and then grass for uh, when I weigh the lambs, I've said before. But um, I was just driving around up there yesterday and in a good few of the other fields, there's a good few nettles. So when I have the topper on, I'm gonna go around the whole lot and just top all the nettles and um, get rid of them. I, I know they'll come back, people say spray, but I, I've been fecking spraying them every year and they just keep coming back. So just when I have the topper on, I'm gonna run around and get them and get rid of them. Um, in this video as well, maybe tomorrow morning, I think the cattle are going i think the lorry's coming for them tomorrow so maybe we'll get that in the video um what else will be in this video uh we're not sure until next week now so um again it'll just we could be drawing some dung again um maybe getting slurry out just have to see things change from day to day uh you make a plan but it always changes you know so and then next week if the weather's fine as i said before we're probably going to start into haylage and stuff uh but anyway firstly just going to get this greased up and uh, ready to go. I was actually talking to the Chagas man this morning as well and going to, um, I haven't put out any fertiliser yet because I haven't been short on grass. Um, I put out slurry and I put out farmyard manure which has done me so far but just on the meadow fields nearly got all got slurry. Um, I, I'll be getting probably fertiliser next week um, but I was just talking to the Chagas man he said the safe bet um, we're definitely going to have to do a nutrition plan um, but that's down the line he said so I'm going to do it anyway but he said if I got 25 or 27 or 25 two and a half five something like that would um, a small amount on the silage fields would just cover me he says I'd probably be okay so I'm probably going to get that for next week put that out and um, also I was talking to him about going into organics the fact that I'm getting out of livestock uh, we might have livestock um, next year by in lambs, as I said, but considering considering going into organics for the five years, because there's there's reasonably good money in it, and it would be a simple process when I wouldn't have stock in sheds and I wouldn't have that much livestock, as I said, maybe two or three hundred lambs bought in to fatten something like that, and try and fatten them off grass, but just with a little bit of meal at the end rather than buying a lot of meal. So that's an option, I'm looking into that. Um, I'm looking into that, but you can't apply until, um, I think it's the end of the year or so. It's looking like I'm probably going to go ahead with that and, and get into organics, I'd say. Um, I think he said on, on 60 hectares, that's what I'd be farming here. The conversion rate for two years, I think is something like 18,000. And then it'd be 15,000 for the next three years after that for a five year in total. That's an awful lot of money. That's an awful lot of money. And like I'd have no fertilizer bill anyway, I'd have no meal bill and a, no medicine bills. You can't do medicines with organics anyway, unless you have a problem. Like um, I worked down in, on Tarshuk down in Wicklow in our, I was the manager of an organic farm down there for a few years when when the crash hit when I wasn't actually farming the crash hit and I had to go get a job uh, so I was working down there for four years so I know the ins and outs of the organic system really but um, and that's why I'm sort of interested in getting in um, I don't think you can do any receding so I might actually do a bit of receding this year I know that's going to affect my acres um, where your score wouldn't be as good on freshly receded ground but like I have ground there's some of my ground down along there that you see me putting you see me putting um, slurry on hasn't been reseeded in maybe 20 plus years so like some of it needs to be done so what I might do this year is if I cut the haylage off it is maybe come in with a stitcher or see what that process is come in with a stitcher or something like that and stitch some grass seeds in after the silage and that would be just a simple way of uh, reseed and put a bit of manure or farmyard manure on it a uh, bit of fertilizer sorry or farmyard manure on or something like that have to look into it just see like normally when we were receding we would till it and do it that way but i'm just looking into maybe a cheaper option um just to, to rejuvenate uh, grass seeds in it uh, without without going full belt at it you know so maybe re do a few fields this year before we go into the organics and um you can always go back out of organics after the five year so um just say potentially down the line i'd say we go into that
nettles here in the field. I don't know whether you can see up along there. Up along the trees, there's a bed of nettles up along. Now look at it probably is going to top just a little bit of that grass, but look at I, I don't mind. I really want I want to get it done. I'm going to top the whole field, uh, get the slurry on it, and as I say, hopefully have a nice. Uh, nice soft bit of grass for the lambs like there's they're up the top end of the field it's thick and covered in nettles anyway so like it's not a big job to go around the whole lot and then um, the three fields up the top this next field is so haylage the three fields up the top there's a lot of nettles up there as well so um we're, we're just going to run around them today anyway look it's, it's after lunch now because i was running around this morning so we'll get the evening out of it i'd say uh, if it's if it's cutting too much out of the grass I can actually, I can actually raise it on the lift arms, and it will, it will go up a bit at the, at the front, so it wouldn't be totally fleecing it, you know. So I'll just do a round or two with it fully down, and uh, I'll see do I need to lift it. But I don't think I do. I'll, I'll let it down there anyway. And just see. in the last field here makes some difference uh, this field's not too bad i can i can travel fairly hard in it anyway as well they're they're scattered around but like look at the difference there just tidies it up really really tidies it up uh first field was the worst there i, I actually topped all that i went all the way around it but this i'm just getting the nettles out of this and i've done those two two middle fields as well there um it's probably heading for about eight o'clock now. We've probably done about fifty acres, I'd say. Um, oh, geez, it, it just really, really has tidied it up, you know. Um, so the, uh, the tractor has to go back to Cooney Furlongs for the service in the morning as well. So um, I think I have to have the tractor down there for eight o'clock. So um, I should have it back tomorrow. I think maybe tomorrow evening. If not, I go down maybe first thing Thursday morning and get it. Um, we have to go look at a fencing job Thursday as well and oh god there's just loads happening, loads happening. Uh, just here, um, taking off the trailer where I had gone to Country Cottage Stables and I supply him with all the haylage so I take back the plastic. Um, we've just dumped it there in the yard, I'm going to have to get the loader and just push it up. Um, Just all his plastic, um, I take it back and then um, whenever the collection is, I bring it to the collection. So there was a full load in it, full load of that. Uh, I'm just gonna push it in, push it in there with the loader and um, be grand then. Look, this is a shorter video. We're gonna, we're gonna finish it up here and um, ju uh, just a bit shorter this time. Um, just didn't have the camera with me there for a couple of days. So um, hope everyone enjoyed it and please give it a like. And please subscribe and we will see you at the next one.